Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to look back at pitch 12-14 and the most common matchups that occurred just really loosely. Um, I understand that there are thousands and infinite amount of variables that go into why a matchup goes the way it goes. Player diff, team diff, jungle proximity, itemization, ruin choice, hell, where the team is in the standings, maybe a team is inting, you know, I know, it's all over the place. That's why I like to try and only key on matchups that have occurred at least 10 times. Um, obviously, that is still a super small sample size, but it's fun to look back at what the meta was on a given patch and then track it throughout the split. I've been doing it all along for every patch throughout the year, even spring. Um, so 12-14, you're going to say to yourself, if you're not an LCK fan, you're going to say to yourself, why are we talking about 12-14? That was like a month ago. Yeah, it was. Um, the LCK chose to go on 12-14 and stay on 1214 until the t until the last weekend um, throughout regional qualifiers like Saturday was on 1214 1216 is already out 1217 is preview is out 1217 I'm going to talk about tomorrow 1215 is still going on for LCS and LEC so that video will be next week but 1214 just ended so we're going to look at it um, and just talk about it a little bit so top lane there are 27 different champions picked for top um that is a, a a ton sejuani versus orn is the only one that happened at least 10 times sejuani taking it six to five obviously i mean that's pretty much coin flip right i mean sejuani wins six to five but it's i'm not gonna claim it goes one way or the other right i mean one matchup goes sejuani's way when arguably sejuani might have been worse in the matchup and that you know, it is what it is. But we look at it and we say, okay, Sejuani Orn. Nar was getting banned a lot. But Nar versus Gwen, Jax versus Gwen, Nar versus Sejuani, Aatrox versus Orn. So we see a lot of the same champions here. We see Sejuani, Orn, Nar, Gwen. Um, and that's it. Those four. Uh, but a lot of different picks were picked into these. Because if Nar was banned, people said, okay, we're going to go Sejuani. Um, okay, if you want to go Sejuani, we'll go Orn, vice versa. Very similar champions and that they're very alt um dependent obviously orn has a lot of more um value in the late game like he's much more valuable in the late game but nevertheless sejuani versus orn um similar engaged tops that are a little tankier um sejuani gave teams the option to um excuse me flex which is a thing um Gwen was picked, and then people would choose, do I want to pick Nar, do I want to pick Jax into it? Jax being a common split-push matchup against Gwen, very skill-based, where Nar is more of the, um, you know, team fight based uh, counter. And then you have Aatrox versus Orn. Towards the end, Aatrox got popular. We saw Aatrox a lot on 12-15, um, so that's a thing. Jungle, we had 16 different champions picked. Trundle versus Wukong was the most common, ending 10-10 in a draw, a very close matchup. Outside looking in, you may say to yourself it's one side favored, but really over 20 matchups, it was 10 to 10. So even if it's 11, 9, 12, 8, that's still pretty damn close over 20 games. It could really go either way, depending on composition, player difference, things like that. Um, you'll see here, because it's Trundle versus Wukong, the next three, Trundle versus Poppy, Vi versus Wukong, Viego versus Wukong. So if Wukong was banned, Trundle and Poppy went to the top of the board. That happened 19 times, Poppy winning 58%. Um, the last patch, I think that was a very common matchup as well, as we saw a lot of Poppy Trundle. Um, Poppy being banned, Trundle being first picked a lot on 12-15 as well. Very solid meta. Now, if Trundle was banned or people didn't want to go uh, Trundle into Wukong, they went Vi into Wukong, and Vi actually had a I mean, 53% win rate through 17 games, so... Really, if you look at it and you think about it, Wukong, if you pick Trundle or Vi, you're pretty okay. And a lot of people from the outside looking in would say, well, Wukong is clearly the number one jungle pick. Well, it's like, not really. I mean, you pick Trundle or Vi and you're okay. And if Trundle's getting first picked, you pick Wukong into it, pick Poppy into it. Um, a lot of teams would ban the Poppy because Poppy really didn't have much of a counter. Um, and Wukong was really the main carry jungler of this uh, patch. Viego versus Wukong would happen 12 times, and Wukong won um, 8 of them. So that was enough for Viego users to be like, eh, we're not going to pick Viego. 
And if we get to the second rotation, we're going to get freaky and pick something else. Because Viego struggled against Wukong for the last couple patches. It's went back and forth um, as a most common matchup, really. But Viego has fallen out of the meta now. Mid lane, 24 champions picked. Ari was the main um, champion. You see here 17 times Silas into Ari. 14 Azir into Ari. 11 times Talia into Ari. And then 10 times LeBlanc into Ari. Ari was not banned often, and people would just pick Ari. Um, Talia, if Talia is banned, okay, we're going to pick Silas. If Azir is banned, okay, we'll pick Silas. If you ban Silas, we'll pick Azir. You know, just pretty much I'll leave Ari up, and we'll pick what we want into it, right? So Silas actually had a 53% win rate against um, Ari, which is, you know, coin flip. And Azir versus Ari was truly a draw, 50-50. So, okay, well, you pick Ari. I mean, people got to, they had options, right? You had Silas, you had Azir, and then it becomes a skill-based matchup on average. Um, Talia versus Ari. Talia won 6 out of 11. Once again, coin flip. Um, LeBlanc versus Ari. However, if you pick LeBlanc and Ari, you were losing 70% of the time on this patch in the four major regions. So that was kind of lopsided. Um, I think that would happen if a team waited to the second rotation to pick a mid laner. And, you know, Talia, Azir... Um, Silas might be banned or picked or whatever and now you're kind of screwed right um, 13 times we saw Azir versus Silas if Ari was banned it was Azir versus Silas most commonly Azir coming out ahead 62% um, of the time I'm going to guess that was like 8 to 5 um, so you know solid nonetheless Azir over Silas you know uh, Silas has been a very very big pick over the last couple patches but I feel like it's been kind of inconsistent in win rates, which makes sense. Um, at the end of summer, so at the end of next week, sometime next week, not only will I have a 12-15 look back, but I'm going to look back at the year as a whole. And um, we'll know what, what was the meta of 2022, you know, in, um, well, actually, maybe I'll just do summer and I'm going to save that video for after worlds for like what was 2022, but um look back at summer at least and what was the meta of summer 2022 so that's what we'll do next week instead of the big video i'll save that for after worlds um bot lane so what's actually interesting about this and over the last uh pretty much the whole time i've been doing this uh, mid lane has been a lot like top lane right you have a lot of different picks not a lot of common things occurring um you know everyone's doing their own thing and bot lane was very like like this where it was like okay we have a meta you pick this i pick this into it okay well that's banned this 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 is and it's very you could see you know how it went bot lane though very one-dimensional we're very reminiscent of aphelios and jinx in spring sivir versus zeri happened 36 times the next most common was 12 times lucian versus aphelios which is what you had to assume if um someone first picked lucian if lucian was up Lucian actually was okay into Zeri, um, so people wouldn't really pick Zeri into Lucian all that much. Thus, people picking Aphelios and it not going that well for them, but those are the only two matchups that happened double digits. Um, nine times we saw Jinx versus Aphelios, which is like handshake from from hell. Sivir and Zeri is the current handshake, but Aphelios and Jinx is the handshake from hell. I think it happened 380-something times, maybe 386 times during spring. Um, Lucian versus Zeri, like I said, nine times. So, Sivir actually got the better of Zeri on 12-14, winning 56% um, of the time over 36 matches. Um, I had said that when Sivir got buffed and things like that, and I'm not going to pretend that I am getting in the nitty-gritty of things because I'm not, but I was like, you know, Sivir, the way they're talking about Sivir, Sivir might actually become a counter to Zeri or at least be able to give Zeri a run for her money, and it did. It did. Um, Lucian versus Aphelios. Lucian won eight times out of 12. So Lucian definitely stronger than Aphelios. I think we all could assume that. On 12-13, I think Aphelios was on this board quite a bit and struggled into all its matchups. Um, so Aphelios not being picked is for the best. Um, and like I said, Jinx versus Aphelios. Uh, if Aphelios was picked because Zeri and Sivir were banned, people picked Jinx into it probably, you know, falling onto comfort. And um, Lucian versus Zeri, nine times um, people trying to make it work. 
support 27 supports um this was weird uh so 18 and 15 were the two most common matchups 18 times we saw lulu into yumi 15 times we saw lulu into nami the next most common happened five times nautilus into yumi so it just goes to show you that everyone was just trying to pick whatever they could into the enchanters and see what stuck because enchanters were so op this patch um Lulu versus Yumi was a draw, 9-9, nine to nine, which is a surprise. A lot of people think, oh, Yumi has the better of the two. Um, actually, it went 9-9, nine to nine, which is a surprise. Now, Lulu versus Nami, very different story. Nami dominated that matchup, winning 73% of the time, which, if I'm doing my math, is probably 11 times. I'm going to guess 11 out of 15. Um... And that's pretty good. 11 and 4, Lulu versus, Na I mean, N Nami versus Lulu. Like, that's pretty damn good, right? Um, and that's because Nami's being picked with Lucian and Lulu's being picked with all sorts of things. Zeris, Zipper, um, Aphelios, Jinx, all sorts of things. So, I mean, it makes sense. Lucian, Nami definitely is the dominant pair when you look at those. And then Nautilus versus Yumi five times as people got adventurous and tried to pick Nautilus into it. I mean... Pretty set meta right now, Enchanter bot uh, support. So, comment down below with what you think about this patch. Um, what do you think will continue on in 1216? Obviously, we see 1215 all over the place. So, um, not going to ask that. But what do you think from 1214 might be around for 1216? Comment down below. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. In the description, you'll find three links. One to the Discord, the Twitter, and my YouTube memberships. Discord's active. Come join for free. There's a channel for predictions. We do that. We do other interactive things. Um, Twitter, follow me there so I can spread my wings on Twitter. And then finally, YouTube memberships. $3 to support me just to keep the channel alive. You get a little badge in the comment section. Um, $10 a month, you get extra content. I do videos about fantasy football, NFL football, and uh, my predictions for who I think is going to win games on um, the League of Legends stage. So, Thank you for watching once again, and I hope you come back for more.